Welcome to this video tutorial. This one I am outlining a 10 mark question and the aim is to allow you to see how you can attack this type of question um, from the family topic. Um, I will show you one of my student paragraphs with their permission of course and to keep it short just one paragraph is given and then I will give you some pointers for the second paragraph that you can go away and practice. So here is the question and item that I will be discussing. This is perfect for revision of the family topic and practicing the exam skills of application. Um, a good idea when answering questions like this is to check out what the mark scheme um, is looking for. This will give you a good idea about what you need to do to get into the top band. Um, so as this question has not been asked before, um, there is no official mark scheme available, I am afraid. So here is a mock-up one that I have done for you. Um, as you can see in the top band, it requires you to have really good knowledge and understanding of two things. In this case, it is going to be functions of the family according to Marxist. There will be two developed applications from the item. So that's where you've got to select the info from the item. We call them the item hooks, apply your knowledge and also link it back to the question um, to show why it's relevant and then there will be analysis or evaluation you can see there's um, a little bit of an alternative so you don't have to criticize every time you can offer analysis to still get those top marks um, we are looking for two um, equal paragraphs following those skills and um, there is no introduction or conclusion required either just two two simple paragraphs is all that is needed. Um, so a little bit of a reminder about what the 10 mark question is um, as it appears on all three papers so really important to get your head around this. So paper one it is in the education section, paper two each topic will have two 10 markers and one of them will be with an item and paper three it will be in the crime section. So just a quick reminder, 15 minutes to answer, seven and a half minute per paragraph, two clear par balanced paragraphs like I've mentioned already. Make sure that you read the item carefully because this will provide the hooks. Um, it is a good idea to quote them um, based on last year's exam. You could put them in your own words, um, but as long as it looks like it's come from the item, that is good. The hooks are their place for you to develop and add your knowledge to and also look for the question hooks as well because because you need to apply it to the question. Um, this is sometimes easier said than done, finding the hooks. Um, students have sometimes commented to me based on previous exams, um, some of the items were a lot shorter than what was expected. Um, certainly the items that are in the textbooks and some practice questions that I have come across do have a little bit more detail in them um, and a couple more sentences than what has actually appeared in some exam questions. And this might throw you as a student, but don't panic at all. Um, just to give you a little bit of an overview about what this item really should be looking like and this is based on some from 2017 I did a bit of analysis each item did have a similar structure um, a lot of them were split into two paragraphs the first paragraph sometimes sometimes said um, had this thing called a preamble a sentence that links to the question then there were the two or three sometimes clear item hooks and then there was um, a paragraph two uh, which um, sometimes is only a sentence that links to the second part of the question and that is there to hook your knowledge onto. Um, so here's the question that this tutorial is about. So as you can see, this first sentence here is that waffle or preamble. I call it waffle. It's a bit of waffle. It's reworded the question. It's asking you um, about um, the functions that perform for capitalism. So it's giving you a little bit of waffle about what capital is. Some have it, some might not. In this question, this is useful because it can be used in the application to capitalism part. The next sentence is the first item hook. Um, so families have a unit of consumption um, requiring people to buy products. Um, so that is the second, fun um, sorry, first function. The second function um, is this is um, uh, accepting their exploitation. So this is linking to the ideological or the brainwashing function, um, encouraging people to accept it. And then the final hook, the bourgeoisie need to keep hold of the profit. Um, this is the wealth that they have accumulated and this will 
be the inheritance function. Um, then you've got this final sentence right here at the bottom. This is a final cheeky reminder for you to link these functions back to capitalism. Without it, some application marks will be lost and it is essential that you do that. So what your paragraph should include um, so we're looking for the item hook, AO1 knowledge, AO2, AO3. Now there is no hard and fast rules about how to structure this paragraph, whether your item hooks should come first, whether they're in the middle or whether they're at the end of the paragraph. As long as they are there and you have developed your knowledge from it, you will be credited. So don't be coming out to any exams going, oh, I put the, I put the item at the end because I forgot or whatever. Don't panic. If it's in there and you've developed it, that is fine. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to give an example of a paragraph to show how this answers the question. And typically, I encourage my students to follow that format. Start off with knowledge, start to apply it, and then start to analyse it. So here is an example of one of my student paragraphs, with their permission, of course. My class typed it up as an exercise to develop um, ideas from the item. And I said, here's the item hook. Um, you have got... Uh, seven and a half minutes off you go um, and so that's what they did so just to break it down this is what the student came up with so firstly the point this is the hook this is the confirmation that it links to a function of the family according to marxist so you've got the the, the binary product and it's linking into the um the unit of consumption function um, then the student starts to give a bit of an explanation. So here's the E of what that function is. They're given examples. Um, in class, we had discussed the ideas of Black Friday and how people are panic buying into products um, in order to, um, to to make the, the family a nicer, nicer place. And, and it links it back to the function of the unit of consumption as well. It mentions that there as well. Um, it also mentions keeping up with the Joneses, um, encouraging people to compare themselves with their neighbours. Um, you could also mention pester power here as well. Um, media adverts on children's TV encourages children to pester their parents for the latest toys or the latest must-have um, gifts or whatever. Then this student then applies it. So then they're using the words from the question, this benefits the capitalist system um, because it is all about creating a profit through the, this constant need. And this is what the question is really asking. And then lastly, this is where they um, are analyse this function of the family here. Um, this student has used a bit of cages. They discuss the class differences and the affordability of this function for some families, some working class families, um, are going to be focused on buying necessities rather than the luxury items which is sort of implied as a unit of consumption. Um, as the Mark scheme does say analysis or evaluation, um, evaluation could come from other theories and you could make comparisons here as well. For example, functionalist, um, this is very similar to the economic function, which according to functionalist is a positive thing for families to buy products in order to make family life a nicer place to be in. Um, you could even turn it on its head and look at it from um, an interactionist viewpoint. Families choose to spend more money. It's a personal choice. People have free will. If they want to buy stuff, they can do. Um, it's not something that is prescribed from the top down. It's um, it's not influenced by capitalism. It's it's just influenced by free will. So you could actually turn it on its head there to make that paragraph. Um, further points to develop. So another quote from the item could have been the uh, workers need to accept their exploitation. So this links into the ideological function. You can link it into Althusa and the ideological state apparatus and give this idea that the family does this function. And you can give some examples of that. For example, teaching children that there's always somebody in charge like their bosses when they go into employment. Um, Zavetsky talks about the family being this safe haven as well, um, which when we start to apply it, why does this benefit capitalism? It's preventing a revolution. It's making sure that people aren't realising that they're exploited, uh, exploited or they are passively just accepting authority or in the, this idea of the safe haven. It's cushioning the effects of capitalism. It's quite, if you know, if you think about it, going out to work into a factory, you're working long hours. It's very low skilled, very, very boring, very labour intensive but mind mind dulling type thing 
the family is really essential in avoiding a revolution in that respect and people saying hang on a minute I'm not putting up with this anymore so the family does perform this function you can analyze it by saying that these ideas um, of the safe haven of the socialization function is very very similar to functionalist ideas so you could make a bit of a comparison and say rather than it benefiting capitalism it actually benefits everybody this is very an over deterministic um, view of the family assuming that the families are there to just benefit capitalism it ignores any positive functions that the family would perform um, you could mention any of those um, the final hook um, keeping hold of the profit that's linking into Marx's um, Marx's mate, um, Frederick Engels, um, the rise of private property. Um, as soon as you get started to have private property, um, the ownership of this, they wanted to ensure that they kept hold of it and their children got it. And this led to the rise in the monogamous nuclear family. Um, the wealthy men who are landowners, for example, or factory owners, they wanted to ensure that their children inherited their wealth and that ensured that they needed females. This is where you started to see the rise of, of the nuclear family, that females um, were monogamous to their husbands to ensure the opportunity. This benefits capitalism. It ensures that wealth stays within families. The rich stay rich, the poor stay poor. It's reproducing class inequality. Um, and then you could go down the feminist route really this inheritance was largely based on passing from father to son um, this nuclear family that they're talking about here this monogamous family is very patriarchal um, it is it is overemphasizing class inequality it does ignore the gender inequality that we're starting to see with the rise in the monogamous nuclear family and you can bring in feminists here as well um, in order to criticize this point um, okay so to summarise, this tutorial has show you how you can apply material from the item to answer a 10 mark on the functions of the family. Um, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, more importantly feel that you have benefited from this tutorial, please make sure you comment below your appreciation. Click the like button as well. You know, I am human. I do have an ego and when you click like, I feel happy. Um, so please um, um, click like and if you are interested there are all the tutorials which go, which go through a 10 market and an item they are for family there is education ones there are beliefs in society ones that are available there for you as always there's 20 markers as well so lots for you to look at if you do want any further guidance please do not hesitate to comment please message my email is always included down there as well um, the teacher sociology at gmail.com so please if you have got any questions you drop me a line um, and I can see how and I will find out how I can help you have a great evening and thank you for listening goodbye